Peter Dunn, and I've spent the majority of my uh, uh, professional career in television at studios as the head of the creative department's uh, buying and reading material to put on the air as series and TV movies, and um, reached a point, and, and this goes to a later conversation about why we should all go to writers' conferences. I reached a point where I felt confident enough, having worked with a lot of really fine writers, to try my own hand at writing. Um, not so much to control the content, but to express some things I felt inside of me that had to be expressed. So I struck out on my own with the blessing of a couple of studios to uh, produce and write television series. And um, I had a lot of luck. Knott's Landing, Dallas, CSI, JAG, uh, Dr. Quinn Medicine Women. I had a lot of luck and I had a lot of people believing in me, you know, a support system. I think that's really important uh, to develop whether we're in the television business or in any other business. Uh, is to find ourselves, find the strength that we have uh, creatively and any other way, artistically, and offer it to people. Or the workshops, rather, that we're talking about. The first one is, for the fun of it, what it's like, uh, the writing life in a, in a television network series. Uh, to be on a staff, to be on a show, or to write a freelance script for a show. And. I have found, having worked on probably a dozen television series through the years, there's a tremendous disconnect between freelance writers trying to get on a show or submit material to a show and what they believe the show is really about and how it's produced. I don't think it's a surprise to every writer to know, to discover that is to say, um, how hard writing is anyway when we all sit at home and face the blank page. It's, it's that on steroids when you're working on a show. So I think the dream of working on a show has to be realistic and that will make your submissions more accurate, more, um, more saleable. And the way to do that in most cases is to study of all things production. We have to remember when we do work on a show, for example, and we're sitting in a writer's room, that as important as the writer is to a show, the show is more important than the writer. The show is what has to go on the stage and please a whole bunch of people, and we can't let our egos get in the way. We're always on a learning curve when we're writers, whether it's on a show or whether we're sitting home alone writing a novel. We're always learning who we are when we write, and the best thing we can bring to any writer's room is who we are. That gives us our writer's voice, that makes us valuable, and um, that's what people buy when they're looking for writers on a show. As experienced as I was in, in heading the shows up and running them, I kept on learning. And, and that's the most important thing we can do as writers, is why we write, is to learn. Mm -hmm.